S. Woods, and I am the instructor for this three-day course called Proactive Risk Management in the Supply Chain. I'm from the United States, uh, Dallas, Texas, and I work, uh, go all over the world doing training for a company called Salvo Global. And what we're doing is we're taking uh, a group of participants from various co uh, companies and industries in Lagos and teaching them about how to address risk in the supply chain, which the supply chain would encompass logistics, purchasing, and operations. So the goal would be for them to go back to their respective companies and to first uh, put together a cross-functional team because everything you do with risk has to involve all of the what we call the stakeholders. And the second would be to quantify as well as to manage the risk. And we've given them some tools to do that. Right. And it's almost like I've got 2,000 bottles sitting there in inventory, but if I go and produce 6,000 and I sell 6,000, I haven't touched that inventory, right? Okay, so you have to add the beginning plus the closing. Right? You do, you have to add the beginning plus the closing. That's exactly right. So in total, if I have 2,000 going in, as well as 2,000 going out, would you agree I have a total of 4,000 transaction-wise, but I'm picking an average. So 4,000 divided by two is 2,000 of average inventory. And I say I'm going to take that number and multiply by five. So therefore the financial ramification is 10,000. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. And that's why yesterday we spent time talking about risk in relationship to customers. Okay. Then we get another third one, order picking. That's just the person on the forklift truck that will go and take it off the shelf. If we call it area, that person goes anywhere in the warehouse. If we call it zone, then they're relegated to a particular area. What you're trying to do is minimize the movement of that individual and the inefficiency. So you look at things in that area because we have, have risk of people you know, went all over the place and burning up fuel and whatever, we're trying to, to minimize that. Cut off between inventory accuracy and real time versus the cost to review the inventory. Now Walmart, again, I hate to use them as an example, have come up with a concept known as POS. Do you remember that one from earlier? Point of sales. Point of sales. And again, the uh, situation where someone goes into a store, takes an item, it scans across a barcode, and as soon as it scans across the barcode, that inventory is depleted by one, and that information goes immediately to that supplier. That's called a point of sale system, also part of that CPFR. My name is Femi Ransom Kuti. I work with the Lafarge uh, Wapo Nigeria PLC. I'm the general manager for supply chain operations. I'm speaking for my two other colleagues uh, that uh, we have taken some substantial thing out of the training and uh, it will help us in our further endeavor to, to push, uh, uh, to forge ahead in the business of supply chain from Lafarge. The instructor is quite knowledgeable and has been able to conduct us through uh, several websites and bodies, you know, that uh, has the whole resources that we can research into, even we can relate with in our course of doing everyday job. So for me, it was a quite uh, beneficial course to me. All in all, and, and this is also giving the opportunity to uh, seek for uh, more knowledge and respect, and respect to uh, risk in supply, supply chain. So it's something I would also recommend for other functional managers, um, whether they're directly or indirectly related to um, supply chain. Taking care of the risk, there will always be risk in our business day in day out. But the most important thing is can you mitigate again the risk? I think the, the facilitator has dealt much about that. He has taken us through that and I've learned a lot in managing risk in our business. Okay.